Hello guys and welcome to the second video in our series about building an application with Essential Architect. If you haven't seen the first episode, I will put the link in the, in the description. So where we left off? In the last video, we have uh, shown how to quickly create a grid. So in the meantime, I have created a grid for our games. Uh, yeah, for our games. I did it the same way as I showed you in the last video with the plier. plier. So I have created model model store simple store which loads the games from the from the backend and shows them in, in the grid i set it the grid as a initial view and we can pretty much uh, preview it yes preview so this is our games grid. Uh, in the last video, we have uh, we have shown something which is important not to forget about, and it's the autoload of the store. So don't forget about that, because uh, if you don't have autoload on true, you would need to you would need to call the load even load method on the store uh, yourself. So we have we have two grids. Uh, and uh, right now, we would like to to show them in our application. But you know, you can have only one initial view. So we need some menu in our application to show uh, different cl different classes. Such architect has uh, there is in the in the kitchen sink. If you look for the components, there are some uh, many menu, menu co components and also tree list. Trilis is pretty nice menu because you have you can change it from the from the navigation menu, uh, type to the micro, and if you look at the admin dashboard, which is uh, in the examples, it has this trilis as a menu. It's pretty nice. Uh, you have this this micro mode, which is awesome on the mobile devices. Yeah, uh, but also. If you don't want to uh, create this menu, you can uh, create simple menu using tab panel. Uh, so if you have time, uh, you should definitely invest uh, in the creating a menu using tier list. But let's show how we could do it using uh, tab panel. So what I will do, I will create a new tab panel. I will delete the tabs. And I will link the the classes to my tab panel. So I will drag them to the tab panel and create a link. And the same one with the prior script link. So the tab panel is created. Uh, we have new tab. It's called new tabs. Uh, it's linked. So if we do any changes to this class. It will be shown uh, in the tab panel. Let's mark the tab panel as our initial view. So it's the view which is loaded with the application. And let's preview it. Yeah, so we have one tab and the second tab. And we can quickly change between them. And we have simple menu for us. Let's change the new tab to something uh, something better. So uh, I want this this title to be name title. It will be games. This tab will be um, players. Also, I want my players to be first. So I will round them. Also, I would like to have the the tab panel, the tabs on the left side. So it should be it should be tab bar position. I will select uh, left, and when you preview it, the tabs are on the left. Also, we have active item, which defines which item should be active 
oh, when we load the application. So when I hit refresh, the games are act uh, are active because it's selected. It's selected number one. So let's change the active item. Active item to zero, which is, by the way, I have set zero and it's not shown in the code. That's because the zero is a, de is a default value. So when you have default values set in the config panel, they are not shown uh, in the uh, in the code because it's not necessary to to have them see. And when I refresh, the players are uh, first. Okay, so we have players and we have games. And I would like to have some icon to this. So let's go to the, to the architect. And when you select the the item, there should be icon class config. If you don't see the icon class config, simply write icon class and click on add. It will be uh, added. So icon class, icon class. Uh, it could depend on which uh, which uh, icons are you using in your project uh, in your team. For example, in here we are using a Titan team. Which automatically adds uh, uh, font uh, font awesome icons. Uh, if you are using the different themes, for example, some older themes, uh, let's say Neptune or even older versions of the EXT, you would need to link the font awesome to icons manually. But with Titan, it's linked automatically. So to set up a class, it always uh, uh, icon class. It's always X. FA as a font awesome and now font awesome uh, it would be uh, users let's say users uh, I think that was okay yeah users and uh, for the for the games I would like to use uh, something different uh, in here you can see that it uh, the intelligence is uh, is suggesting you some basic icons, but it's not all of them. There is uh, hundreds of them. You can find them uh, on the web when you search for the font awesome slash icons. You should see uh, many, many, many other icons. I already have some, uh, some selected. I think it should be trophy. Yeah, trophy icon should be for the, for the games. So let's select FA trophy. Okay, and I would like also to add my charts when I'm setting the icons. Let's add also charts. Uh, sorry, let's add a container where I will have my chart. Well, let's name it chart. Um, it should be L rating. And let's add, let's link it. Let's name it title and rating rating chart uh, icon class. Um, it should be XFA XFA. Let me see for it. Chart. Line chart. Okay. FA line chart. XFA FA line chart. Yeah, pretty nice. Let's save it. And so let's take a look how it looks. Yes, perfect. So we have players, we have games, and the chart we will do. Uh, later on also let's add some some toolbar or something so it could be easily done with a toolbar so let's add a toolbar let's add a toolbar toolbar to our panel and we could have this toolbar uh, we could have it position it could be 
be uh, top could be on top, left, bottom, anywhere. So uh, let's keep it on the top where I want it. And you can see this new tab. We can have some title. Uh, let's say uh, all hello rating up. And to the toolbar, you can add the some uh, components or you could add the buttons, labels. For example, you could add the image, which could be uh, your lo logo of your company, for example, or anything. For now, let's leave it as it is. Okay, so we have our me menu with the with the tab panel and the pretty nice thing or the important thing is to keep all the all the important classes and the things separated in the separated files because right now i have created some some main main class using tab panel but i could easily create a new one and link all the grids there again and it could look look completely different for example with the with the three 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 list uh, we we have seen before so yeah keeping the file the, the important things separated in their own files is pretty important also uh, you might notice that when you create a new class uh, in the sense architect it always creates you a uh, view model and view control for you and I know that I will not uh, I will not need view model and view control in these grids so I can simply uh, delete them. And if I need them back again, I could click, uh, right click and create missing view model or view controller back again. So let's do a little clean up. Okay, perfect. And I think that our, our grids are not pretty nice. Uh, I think mostly the, the ply grid uh, I don't like the, or sorry, the game grid. We, we should really do something about about these uh, timestamps and the IDs of the players instead of the names. So yeah, let's take a look at, at it in the next video. Okay, so that would be all for this video. And if you have any question uh, or tips, uh, you can leave. Uh, Leave your feedback uh, down below in the comment sections. Thanks. Bye.